children. Hi, hi, children of the Lord. And we are preparing to meet Jesus. I do truly hope you are preparing to meet Jesus, as I always ask you. That is because it won't be long, Bible promises us, that it won't be long, Jesus will come and take those who are his with him to heaven. And I'm just praying that you and me will be in the number of people that God takes to heaven. So that's why I keep asking you that question. But on that note, welcome to God's face. I can't believe it's the month of June already. It's the first Sunday of the month of June. And we thank God for having kept us all through the year to the middle of the year. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Jesus, for having kept us to this point. And today, as per always, we're going to learn about the word of God. And when you see me, you know there are some activities we definitely do. And can you tell me some of the things we do? Can I hear anybody say something? Yes, we learn a song. Well done. And then reverse, well done to you too if you said that. And then we pray for those who are sick and those who do not know the Lord. Well done. So these are the things we're going to be doing. And today we're going to learn a song from the Bible, um, which is in line with our memory verse. So the focus of our study today is centered on building or build. So if you hear the word build, what comes to your mind? Let me give you 10 seconds to think about this. Mm. I've thought of a few things. Yes, so now that our time's up, can you shout across some of the answers you came up with? Can I hear somebody scream something? Yes, you think of the of building a house. Yes, that's a good point. Anybody else think of something else yet? Yeah, somebody thought of building a bridge. Good. Or hotel. Yeah, or a school. Perfect, perfect. You can build so many things. But have you thought of building a person or a human being, if I should say? Do you think it's possible? Well, we're going to find out today because that is what the word of God tells us. See, he tells us that we are the temple of the Lord. Do you remember we learned this? Last year, we learned a song just before COVID, I think in the month of February 2020. We learned a song that went like this. Know ye not, know ye not, you are a temple. Know ye not, know ye not, you are a temple. And know ye not, know ye not, you are a temple. You are a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So because you are a temple, that means your body is like the church of God. So where you, the, God sees you as a temple, you have to build your temple so that your temple becomes the best temple ever. Jesus even describes his body when he was about to die. He told the disciples that he's going to pull down the temple in one day and then use three days to build it again. And the Jews were so furious because they thought, what does he mean? Can he build this big temple in three days? But Jesus was only referring to his own body. So you and me, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So because our, our bodies are a temple, that means you can build a person, can't you? Yes, we are being built like houses. And that's what the Lord tells us. So at this point, let's share, or should I say, let's read our memory verse together. Then you can understand 
what it is I am trying to teach you. And today, our memory verse is being taken from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 down to 25. Today, it's a long one, but I hope you will join me to learn it because once you know the memory verse, then you can learn the song and we can sing together happily and joyfully. Let us read. Right. Let's read our memory verse together from the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Today is a long one, from 24 to 26. I am reading from the NKJV version. You join us with whatever version of the Bible you have, and let's read together. So on the count of three, two, one, let's read. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came up, the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came up, and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it fell, and great was its fall. Amen. Amen. I know it's very long today. We've got about two different verses. So we've got the verse 24, 25, all oh, three and 26. But I want you to learn it all because it is very important. It will help us to build a house. So in this memory verse, how does it link up to the story of building Listen again, Jesus was saying this. So Jesus said, well, whoever listens to his words, whatever Jesus says, whoever listens to it and does it. So not only do you listen to God's word or read the Bible every day, but after you've read it and heard it, whoever practices it, that person, Jesus said, is like a wise man. A wise man who builds his house, which is his temple, his body, upon the rock. Now, that's another question. What is the rock? Bible also tells us that the rock is Jesus Christ. So whoever builds their house upon the rock is wise. And with that person... The Bible says the rains will come down, the floods will rise up, the winds will blow in different ways. But that house is just not going to move. It's going to stay as it is. So, what does that mean? It means that if the rock is Jesus, the house is your body. The rain and the winds, they stand for all the troubles of life. Bullying, people telling lies on you, people being horrible to you. All these things are part of the rain and the winds that will blow. But if you listen to God's words and you practice it, and you listen carefully and you do exactly what God's Bible or his word tells us to do, then your temple or your house is being built upon the rock and the rock is Jesus. So even though all these horrible things will come your way, it will hit you in different directions. With the help of God, you can stand and nothing would happen to you. 
And even if we die, we know that we are still benefiting because we're going to see Jesus face to face, which is even better than being here in this world. On the other hand, everybody or anybody who hears God's words and takes no notice of it and says, oh, I don't want to know about the Bible. No, thank you very much. If you do that and you don't listen to the word of God or practice his words as you hear it, Bible says you are like a foolish man who built his house, not upon the rock, Jesus, but upon the sand. So what is the sand? So if the rock is Jesus, without the rock, it means the sand is a life without Jesus in it. So such a person will build their house and it doesn't matter. Their lovely body, their house will look beautiful. It will look perfect on the outside. But without Jesus, when the winds blow and the rain comes down and the floods come up and the winds hit against that house, that house is going to fall down. That is what the Bible says. And not only is it going to fall down, the Bible says, great is the fall. So if you build your house without God, oh, it's not good. That's what the Bible tells us. That means you are likely to fall. And when you fall, your fall will be really great. So today, the choice is up to you. Which one do you want? Do you want a house that will stand all the time? Or do you want a house that will look perfect on the outside, but then when the winds blow against it, it falls down? The choice is yours. And it's up to you to choose. Maybe you can understand the story a little bit better by joining me to play the game of Jenga. Yeah, see you in a while. So welcome to the game of Jenga. So what I have done is I have built this house. Perfect. So imagine this is our perfect house that we are building. And they have been built with building blocks. So imagine every piece is a rock of Jesus. And you need him in order to go on so like jenga we'll take one building block out yeah to try and build a house <laughs> build it on without letting it fall so i'm moving parts of the house but remember if it is a house built on god it means that god will hold every part so Oh, I'm trying not to let it fall by taking out the building blocks. Oh, I nearly lost that. Right, so we're building upwards without breaking the house that I've already built. So I'm taking part of the building blocks out from underneath to build the house upwards. <gasps> I knew this was going to happen, but see, this is a house. This house built with God stood firm. It doesn't matter what you did, but the minute you move God out, you move the major building blocks, which is God out of it, it goes flat. And now <laughs> my perfect house is now all in ruin. And that is what happens. As a Christian child, as a child of God, if you build your house without God, as a person in general, building a house without God in it is going to fall down flat on its face like this game of Jenga. However, if you have God as part of your house, as part of your temple, then your house, is always going to stay firm 
and solid, grounded in the Lord. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a shame that our game of Jenga did not last longer than I thought it would. But you can have a go at home. Try building using Lego, using anything, any building blocks that you have. Build a house. What house? A house with Jesus in it. And take the major parts of it and see if that house doesn't come tumbling down. Because Jesus Christ it's the special cornerstone. That is what how Bible describes him. He's the cornerstone that holds the whole house together. So make sure your house is built upon the rock, which is Jesus. And on this note, it's time to learn our song. Are you ready? Then let's start. Come and let's sing together. Right then. So should we learn our song? Are you ready? Yay! Let's start. So the song goes like this. A wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. Then we go to the, or the second verse, which goes like this. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand fell flat. Yeah, it went flat. Then we clap our hands. So let's start right from the top again. Yep. Yeah. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand went slapped. Then you clap at the very end. Yeah? So we will be wise and build our house upon the rock. So now that we've practiced it, should we sing it through two times and see how well we do? Yeah? Join me and let's sing. Three, two, one. One, let's go. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm. And the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand went. The wise man built his house upon the rock. 
So should we sing it a bit faster now, yeah? So three, two, one. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up And the house on the rock stood firm The foolish man built his house upon the sand The foolish man built his house upon the sand The foolish man built his house upon the sand And the rains came tumbling down The rains came down and the floods came up The rains came down and the floods came up the rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand went splat. So even faster than before, yeah? The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand went splat. Good. Just before I go, should we get, hmm, maybe I will get the boys to sing first the whole thing and then the girls will sing after, yeah? So me being a girl, I would just mime it. I wouldn't sing it. And let's see how the boys do. One, two, three. Now girls, one, two, let's go. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the hot flats came up. The rains came down and the flats came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand when splat, well done, well done to all of you. And that's the end of our song today. I hope you keep practicing it and the memory verse. There were three verses in there. If you can learn one, that's magical. If you can learn two, amazing. If you can learn all three verses, then even better, just so that you can remember every part of the story to the song, yeah? So, just a few questions. I hope that you will remember this, but just to recap our story. Story number one. What was the word we learnt about today? It started with a B, the word that our lesson focused on today. Question number two. Who is the rock? Question number two. Now, question number three. 
what is the stand sand sorry what does the sand stand for and last but not least what is the significance of the rain and the winds so these are the four questions and i hope you got them all correct shall i give you a few minutes just to finish it off okay so just to go over it the word that we learnt about today was build the word build so building or build yeah and then the second question said who is the rock the rock is jesus so if you've got it correct that's it if you got jesus you're correct yeah so the rock stands for jesus the sand the sand is the house without Jesus in it. That is the sand. And then last but not the least, the winds and the rain stands for all the troubles of life, all the things we face like bullying, people being horrible to us, all the horrible things in life. That is what the rain and the wind stand for. Well done. So if you got these all correct, then well done to you for listening attentively. I'll give you some brownie points. Yeah, five brownie points to you. But if you didn't get it all correct, it doesn't matter. Just go back in the video, listen to the story again. And then now the challenge I give you is that go and think of how best you can build your house, your body, upon the rock Jesus. Ask your money. Ask me when you see me in church. And then we can discuss how best you can build your temple. So, that's more or less it today. But then before we go, there is an important part of our programme today that we are on now. And that is prayer time. So if we can pray for those who are sick and then don't know the Lord, it will be good. Because they too need to learn to build their temples and their bodies upon the rock which is Jesus. So close your eyes and listen. Our dear God in heaven, we thank you so much the wonderful things you do for us all the time we are praying committing those who do not know the lord into your hands our friends our neighbors all the people out there that don't know the lord please lord make it possible for them to come to know god so that they too can build their temples and their bodies upon you the rock who is jesus and I'm also praying for all those who are not well. Heal them in Jesus' name. For Bible says by your stripes we are healed. So we know you will heal them all. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, wonderful. It is nice and wonderful to see you all the time. And thank God for another wonderful time together on God's face. I do hope you enjoyed singing our song and if you don't remember it, that's fine. Or if you didn't get it fully, that is fine. Just go back in the video, listen to it over and over and over again so that it will become a part of your everyday life and then it will help you to build your temple for the Lord. So until I see you again soon, I pray that God will keep you safe as he has done until now and then keep singing the song and keep building your house upon the rock. Love you. Bye.